Yo, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Bros and Brisky. This this week in the NFL, we can be at Bryce Evans. And first off, we're going to be starting off school. All right, so the first game we're going to talk about is going to be the Patriots versus, or not the Patriots, the Packers versus the 49ers. This is a blowout game. Definitely a blowout game, in my opinion. The Packers, yeah, the Packers didn't really give the 49ers a chance. So, 49ers had their backup QB. Yeah. Jimmy Grapple's been having a bad season, anyways. Midgey! Alright, so, in my opinion, I think that the 49ers defense is not good at all because they have too many injuries. And they just gave up so many yards to Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers had a great night this night. Like, he did pretty good. I think he had, like, a couple hundred yards. Here, let me check the... Let me check he the had box. Yeah. yeah. He, he had 100. 304 touchdowns. They just did they just let everything... They just gave Sheesh. Aaron Rodgers everything. He had four touchdowns, he, 300 yards. He only he went for he, was, he went for 25 for 31. Yeah, that's, that's great. pretty good. Yeah, that was. Aaron Jones had a pretty decent game. Aaron Jones, he uh, was 58 yards, no touchdowns. They don't have, they don't have a another... run game, really. Look, look, if you look at the stat sheets. You can see Devontae Adams, Henry. Yeah, he, he they force feed and, him the ball. And the opinion. only other, the, the only other yeah one that's close to him is Aaron Jones with five, and Tyler Early, another two running backs right here. They have nine combined. Yeah, that's the, not. I don't know. Really, I think the Packers are you, really bro. good. It's just that my dad said that when Aaron Rodgers is on, he might be the greatest quarterback of all time. And in this game, he was on, and you could see it. He only missed six passes, hit four touchdowns. If they would pick up another wide receiver, they'd be a really good team. Oh, yeah. They'd be. Their defense had an interception. Like, I don't know what well. they were doing drafting another quarterback. Like, they needed a wide receiver. I'm pretty sure they still could have gotten a couple of wide receivers. I think that. Yeah. Uh, here, let me see some wide receivers that they could have drafted. Oh, uh, they could have drafted. Uh, at the, the trade deadline, they could have picked up Will Fuller. Yeah. Cause they, that was being tossed up. Um, yeah, Will Fuller from the Texans, right? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking they, of the Texans. I think that they could have picked up Chase Claypool. He wasn't picked up until the yeah, second he, round. He's really good. The, yeah, he's Steelers. amazing. Come, what college he's six he foot four. From? What college did he come from? Yeah, on TV, he's six he's, foot four. He, his body, his he's body is really small. And then, like, and then oh, you man. see him, and then you look at his um, like, stuff, and he's six four. He's really tall. Yeah, he's huge. And he's really good. He uses his abilities to every. Yeah, he does not look six so. foot four. No, he looks like he's. He's already had five receiving touchdowns. Five yeah. foot. I mean, four Whoa. four of those five did come in one game. Yeah, in one game. So, but he's having a pretty good game. He's actually Canadian. It's funny. All right, you guys are gonna move, move on. on to the next one, which is the next game: Jaguars versus the Texans. Texans I think so. Yep. That's, that's, a, that's looking like a pretty horrible game. <laughs> Two awful teams. Not knowing. But it was a very close game. game. It wasn't. wasn't. Well, it, it was, was a close game, but it was twenty-seven, twenty-five. Yeah, it was a close game, but like a horrible game. Like I wouldn't have watched it. I don't think I, I think did. Any of us here the... really watch it? Uh, I I actually did. I was watching the Reds. Like one of the Sean first plays of the game. Pretty decent. If I'm Burnett in this like Jake Lawton or something. Oh yeah, first the Jaguars quarterback. Really, really good throw down the game or down the field. The wide receiver, I have no clue who they are. Uh, but Lawton. they really good catch, really good throw. Touchdown. That was his own touchdown. I, yeah. 
Oh, um, that's that was he, he. He's a rookie. He's a rookie. Yeah, they're number nine. I think is he is right on the Jaguars, right? Yeah, Jake Lutton. No, Jake number six. Number six. He did throw for, for three hundred yards. Twenty-six yeah, or thirty-eight. He is really good. Yards. Actually, one touchdown, for... one interception. I forget why. Uh, what's his face was out this game. Gardner Minshew. I don't remember. Was he just hurt? As you can see, guys, I'm pulling up every single highlight of the game. We'll just have those over, like, as we talk about the game. So, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's actually working out pretty well. So, uh, 300 yards, one touchdown, one pick from Jake Lutton. Deshaun Watson. That was his first NFL start. That was pretty yeah, decent. Yeah, pretty decent. Yeah, Better he, than Tua. He, not decent. It was good, actually. James Robinson had another weirdly good game. Like, yep. I was watching a video where I was like, shortest Hall of Fame careers, and one of the comments was, James Robinson through seven games, because he's having an amazing season so far. But he did get sacked a couple of times, yeah, but, but um, that's, J. J. that's really not his fault. Sack in that game, so. That's pretty cool. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Yeah, he threw up an that's, amazing pass to a... DJ Chark in the beginning. Yeah, that, that that's. I, I couldn't remember who it was. But he it had was a... DJ Chark. He had a great throw to him, and he just got wide open. Oh, yeah. Oh, that guy just completely missed the sack. 47 just completely missed it. Alright. I just pushed it. Um. The, yeah, the, the Jaguars. Um. They're bad. <laughs> So are the Texans. The Texans are two and zero, only against the. The Texans are two and zero against the Jaguars. Zero and six against any other team. Jaguars, not the Jaguars. The Texans can be good. They were good last year, but then they played. Then they did something stupid in trading the best wide receiver in the league. Nah. The and Jaguars aren't going to Jag be good for a while, because they were good They're like two years that. ago, but then you know. Everything. I mean, they had Leonard Fournette, yes. and then... He wasn't so good. Um, yeah, pretty good game. James Robinson, 99 yards, touchdown. Jake Lutton actually had one carry for a touchdown. That was his... Oh, he he had two touchdowns a pick because he ran one in. So, pretty good game. LaVisca Chenault didn't have a great game. He went for negative one yards on one catch, so... Yeah. Have you guys heard the legend of LaVisca Chenault? You guys heard of him? Nope. He's like this crazy... He's like this Swiss army knife that the Jaguars use. He's pretty good. Basically, a uh, He's a wide receiver. He's like super shifty. Alright, what's the next game? Alright, I think game? next game is going to be the Giants versus the uh, Washington football team. football team. What's that, right? Giants come out on top on this game. Oh, I'm looking Giants at the wrong win. week. Oh yeah, Giants versus football team. Oh, let's yeah. switch to Discord right now, and then I'll pull that up. Hey, dime. Giants came out on top, twenty-three twenty. Daniel Jones had a pretty decent game, one touchdown, two hundred twelve yards, jobs. twenty-three of thirty-four. Yeah, Danny Dimes had a pretty good game this uh, this week. He didn't throw a pick, did he? No pick. I think this was no. his first game without a. Um, what do you call it? Takeaway. Sterling Shepard, six receptions, 39 yards. Yeah, pretty good game from him as always. Or not as always, he hasn't been doing as great this year. But, he's pretty good. Not as good as, like, some other Giants receivers, but I think he'll have a good career. If you watch the game at all, obviously you would know Kyle Allen suffered an uh, ankle injury. Yeah, pretty so scary injury. I don't yeah, know if Bryce will pull that up or not, but his ankle kind of snapped in half. He was, before his ankle snapped, yeah, he was 5 for that. 7, 62 yards. But then Alex Smith came in for basically his first ever full game since his gruesome Blah, leg injury. That was an awful injury. Hated Six, watching he, that. He threw three picks, Alex, though, so not a great yes, game. Yes, he did. Alex Smith went 24 32, I mean, 300, 325 yards, and one touchdown. 
Antonio Gibson, awful game. Six for 20. Barry McLaurin seems like a pretty decent wide receiver. Seven receptions, 115 yards. Uh, JD Mis Mick Histic. I don't know how you pronounce that. Mick Kiss. Kiss. Morgan. Kiss is sick. You need to be quiet. 65 yards. Morgan. Right, you're on Same. mute. Yeah, I had just had to talk to someone real quick. Um, who are you talking about? JD what? Oh, McKissick. Uh, Jade. Yeah, yeah, he had a pretty McKissick. good receiving game. Antonio yeah. Gibson. Oh, good. I think Antonio Gibson is pretty, pretty all right. I mean, he only ran for twenty. I mean, yards. decent, but that game. Yeah. I mean, he did have uh, thirty-five receptions. He did have a touchdown. That was actually a pretty good play. But you know, this game was all about the takeaways. There was like two turnovers like for Martinez. You know, I think the pick. uh there was fumbles the lost. Pepper said a yeah. pick and walk on. The Washington would have had this game, but they had three interceptions and two fumbles lost. So pretty bad game. Yeah, Alex played very well. Ooh. Ron Vera. They had only I'm twenty three minutes of possession. The Giants had 36 and probably half more than half of that is off of the takeaways like you can't really want a game like that the washington the washington had more yards and stuff so yeah if they could only keep the ball all right i think we're gonna move on to our next game which is the ravens, ravens versus and the, the colts. colts pretty good game pretty fun game actually the colts, colts yeah. the colts Colts coming off a really good game last week. They blew out the. Who did they blow out? Jacksonville, I think. But the Colts were looking good until they came up this week. Lost to the Ravens, no, twenty-four ten. Who did they lose to? Who were they lost last week? They blew them out. Uh, I think it was the Lions, forty-one to twenty-one. The Lions. All right, so the Ravens. Mar the Ravens, uh, were outscored in the first half. They didn't score once, but. They came. They really came back and showed what they can do in the second half against a winning team, a really good winning team. So pretty good. For, pretty good game. Yeah, the Ravens. Marwin, not, 19 of 23, 120, 170 yards, but zero touchdowns. For Lamar. Zero interceptions, but he did have a rushing touchdown. He ran the ball 13 times. Yeah. More than all all of the running backs. He ran for 58 yards. No man. Patrice. Yeah, they put Trace McSorley in. Yeah, Austin. they did. No, oh, Austin Lamar said put Trace McSorley in. Oh, they should. Put Lamar at the back. What'd you say? Phil put Lamar at the back. Yeah, yeah that pretty was pretty much. <laughs> he they ran did, more they did have he Gus the, the Bus and J.K. <laughs> Dobbins run a lot. He ran the ball more. Why does a why did a lineman run the ball? Matt. And why Spira. did Jacoby why did Jacoby Brissett go 0 for one? Why did he probably even a trick play ball? or something? But uh, Philip Rivers went twenty five of forty three. That's a lot of passes. Yeah, he and not two two hundred and twenty seven and one pick. One their one touchdown was Jonathan Taylor. One touchdown. Yeah, they scored. Uh, I saw that. Nothing. Yeah, I ju it's just pulling up on the on the highlights. So, Marcus Peters had that pick. Cool. He had a really good game. Four tackles, do? one assist. Four tackles, one assist. Nice. And uh, interception. All right, I think we're gonna move on to our next game. Lions. Lions. The Lions versus the Vikings. Lions versus the Vikings. Oh yeah. Uh, so Delvin the Vikings Cook. are. Delvin Cook literally just. The Vikings are coming out. These past two weeks, beating yeah. uh, Packers last week and beating the uh, decent like, Lions. The Lions are probably that one team, the best, um, like that one team that might make their way into the playoffs, like the playoff team that is losing, that has a losing record. Yeah, Matt Stafford, twenty-three of thirty-two, two hundred eleven yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Chase Daniel went to the game, eight of thirteen, ninety-four yards, one touchdown, one interception. Who who said that? Or like who? Chase Daniels? 
Oh, Daniels. did Matthew Stafford get hit. hurt? I don't think so. I think uh, he just went on. He is on concussion protocol. Oh, he got a concussion. But yeah. I don't have. He the... was also sick before that game. He had not practiced that whole week. Yeah, he, he did oh, yeah, not. That's COVID weird. That's weird why they put him in. He he was on COVID nineteen. Yeah. He, 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 he did. Honestly, pretty good. Did he good get it, or was he just but he like? He was just in contact with a with a player who had it. Okay. DeAndre Swift, 13 carries, 64 yards. Adrian Peterson, getting a few carries, 29 yards. Emily Odola, 7 receptions, 77 yards. That's T TJ Hawkerson, well, 5 Swift receptions, had a 39 good game, yards. 64 yards, yeah. TJ Hawkinson and Marvin Jones with touchdowns. Look at Delvin Cook, 206 yards for two touchdowns. Back back really good weeks for Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook. Yeah, he might, he's back probably the best yeah, running really back in the weeks. league. Justin Jefferson, another good week from the rookie from LSU. Yeah. Three I mean, it was only three receptions, but they went for 64 yards. Irv Smith Jr., two touchdowns. His two touchdowns were his two receptions. Um, Adam Thielen, two receptions. Kyle Rudolph, three receptions. They have a really good team. Who, the Vikings? Definitely. Their Vikings offense can be really good. Yeah. I think they could be. Cook they has help. Adam Thielen, Kyle Rudolph, Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, and they got a pretty good, I think, can be. One of the middle-of-the-road quarterbacks in Kirk Cousins. Yeah, he can he can be somewhere. He can go somewhere. Dalvin Cook has the ability to he had three touchdowns. Tackles. Dalvin Cook, did he have a catching? No. Uh, Kirk. Dalvin Cook had Kirk two. Kirk Cousins. had three. That's for Oh, Irv Smith Jr. caught two passes for two touchdowns. I've never heard of that guy. Oh, is he a rookie? Yeah, yeah he's a rookie. Alvin Cook can break his ta break tackle right away and then blast off. What are you saying, Bob? A Dalvin Cook has like he can break tackles and do everything. Yeah, he's a power back. He's speedy. When he, when he breaks the pack, tack. Oh, he. he uh, you mean yards after written. contact? Yeah, because in this one play, he was like running straight up the middle and got bumped around a bunch, and still got like 15 yards. Kirk's got a great arm, but I don't think he knows what's up, or like he doesn't make the greatest decisions. Go. Well, he had zero picks. He went three. Three for zero. I think we're going to go on to the next game, which was uh, Bears and uh, Titans. Bears versus Titans. Uh, Jeez, the Bears, they were just 5-1 five five and one three weeks ago. Yeah, now they're 5-4. Three, three, th three straight losses for the Bears. They're not looking too good. Yeah, not looking the best. Titans are looking like a pretty decent team, 6-2. and two. Titans won 24-17. Nick Foles, 36 of 52. Well... Some of the Bears' losses have been pretty close. Yeah, yeah, they have. They lost in overtime to the Saints. Yeah. That was a Nick weird Foles game against the Saints. I mean, the biggest Alan highlight Robinson was that guy just... punching the guy with a helmet. Sorry about that one, guys. My recording had a little bug in it, and it just stopped recording. So we're going to pick up where we left off, which was Bears versus Titans. Uh, pretty good game for both teams, right? Nick Foles had a he he threw it fifty two times. I don't think I trust Nick Foles that much to throw it fifty two times. What about you guys? And only got thirty. In. Yeah, he missed sixteen times. Nick Foles isn't the type of guy you want the throwing the ball fifty two times. Yeah, like yeah. they I mean, have they have like... a good running back in David Montgomery. They just need to enforce with him. He can be good. He can. Yeah, he be can good. be good. Like, oh, like, that gave me a third yard. Line, That's pretty dookie. Their offensive line this game for the Bears good. Ryan Tannehill really did not good have a great all. game. Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, he had an awful I mean, two, game. Two, two touchdowns. Yeah, but he did go 10 100, for 21. 150 yards, yeah, it's not good. Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry, not the best game. 21 carries for 68 yards, no touchdowns. Look at this, look at this. What? 101... Hundred and he had 158 yards, right? And 101 yeah. of them were AJ Brown. That's the passing game. The passing games. Huh. AJ Brown. They have Who's good. They have good receivers like Corey Davis, 
Uh, AJ Brown and Johnny Smith, and then. Who scored? AJ Brown. Yeah, and then they, they kicked a the field goal, more. and then I think. I think they Defense kicked. Might have had uh, this, one. They scored two touchdowns and kicked. Steven Goskowski kicked 20. the field goal twice, so. Yeah. They, oh, they went for two once, I think. Because if he had six points, that means they must have had to go for two. Because if they score eight, 15, and then. What? This is really confusing how they got 24 points. So he threw two oh, touchdowns. Yeah. And. So the two touchdowns were A.J. Brown and Johnny Smith, so that's 14 points. They had no pick sixes. Steven Goskowski kicked one field goal. So three points. And they th kicked three extra points. So how did they get the third touchdown? No, it only s maybe someone ran it? But it's not showing up on the score sheet that no one ran it. Might have touchdown. been a fumble loss because the Bears had two of those. But I think we should uh, let that go and get get into the next game. Yeah, it is really weird. It's just not showing up, I guess. All right, what's the next one? Panthers and the Chiefs. Panthers and the Chiefs, a close game. Two point Definitely game. Definitely a close one. Chiefs went on top though, thirty-three, thirty-one. Yeah, because he missed the sixty-seven yarder. Yeah, that thing. It was. I was like, it's going, it's going, in, and then it just fell like. It was all wide right. Ten feet. Ten feet short. In the beginning, it was online. The, the, Ch Go ahead, the Chiefs were not doing really yeah, good in the like they weren't. first quarter. Um, first game back, Christian Caffrey. He had a good game. Yeah, like the first yeah, play of the yeah, game, they just threw it to him off the side. So yeah, that, he was, like a, that means he must be. He must be. His, must be receiving, good. his receiving yards were way better. But yeah, because that's the type of like, um, that's the type of guy he is. He doesn't really run the ball that much. He he's a receiving he, back. He, yeah, yeah. He he looks like a wide right receiver out there. You know, he has he, eighteen stuff receptions. Or eighteen catch, pretty, eighteen. Rushes for 69 yards, but 10 catches for 82 yards and a touchdown. He had two touchdowns. Teddy pretty good. Teddy Bridgewater had a good game. He w he did throw the ball Christian 50 Michael. times, which is weird. But Christian McCaffrey had uh, eight. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes 372 yards for four touchdowns. They had no running game. They had 14 from Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. Le'Veon Bell had 8 yards. Tyreek Hill had 8 yards running. So, yeah, nothing nothing really good there. But Travis Kelsey had 159 yards. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty good, good game. Yeah, Tyreek Hill had a good game. game, too. Two touchdowns from Tyreek Hill, 113 yards. Yeah, the the Chiefs are just such a good team. Demarcus Robinson, Clyde, ben, very good game. And guess what? Guess who had uh, Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill on their offense? I don't there. know how that happened. Tyreek Hill was like a first round fantasy. pick. Oh, because he did have the number one pick, so. Yeah. Pretty good game here. Yeah. Chiefs move to 8 1. Panthers go to a sad 3 and 6. Next game Seahawks Bills. Oh, yeah, this was a nice one. Oh. Go Bills. I'll go first. High I'll scoring. go first. High scoring game. Very. Okay, right, so. Uh, very, very first play of the game. Nothing happened. Yet. Kickoff. Sixty yard return for uh, receiving guy. I have no clue what the Seahawks. Uh, are. I'm sorry. His doing. name is Andre Roberson. Yep. Okay. They just couldn't stop him, and Josh Allen had really he. I feel like the Bills have those first tap first quarter. Yeah, they always have the first plays quarter where they leads. just get where they just get down to the. Um, get down the field and they just score touch they just keep on doing it. yeah they so have they always get a, a very good first quarter lead but they can't always keep it i mean they still win some like yeah. the, like against the uh rams they had a 28 to 3 lead but only won by three points or they only won by a touchdown so yeah they they almost sold that game but like the third pa the p third play of the game, Isaiah McKenzie gets like a forty yard pass right to him from Josh Allen. Josh Allen had a great game this game. He he, he did. did just as good as Aaron Rodgers. Look at this. 
if not better, 31 of 38, 415 yards, three touchdowns. Wow. That's like a veteran type of stat. That's like yeah. really good stat. No picks. Yeah, Russell Wilson did not really have his good. best game. Really good 390 no, yards, two touchdowns, and two picks. They have Stephon no Nicks. running game. Stephon Nicks, yeah, they really need to pick up a running back. This off they have no season. running game. If they, if they pick up a running back... Devin Singletary only ran the ball twice. The Bills are known to get into the playoffs, have a really good really good season. The Bills are known to get into a playoffs? What are you talking about? Like, the past couple of years, they got into the playoffs and just lost. Yeah. I mean, they... If I I think they can go farther if they get... Like, they play, better... they played against the best team in the NFC this week, probably. Against the Seahawks. Or at least yeah, the best Tr- offense in the NFC. Tredavious Tr- Tr- White and Jordan Poyer had, both had a pick. Yeah. The ba- Tredavious Tr- 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 White got one to seal the game. Tyler Bass. Three four from the field goal. DK yep. didn't He's have like a pretty good kicker. He's really good, good game either. He only had... Went for DK? Seven or DK had a pretty good game. He went seven yeah, for one away in a, in a touchdown. But Tyler Lockett's been really quiet this season. Yeah, he's been pretty quiet. Or, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, or, like, I know what he's doing playing the Look NFL, at this, look at this. Like, he had look, average yards. He got he caught the ball four times. Average His yards were 40. He caught the ball 10 yards each time he caught it. Yeah, because the 40 divided by four is 10. Because his average was 10. For, for, for 10 for a yard. Do you guys have school tomorrow? Yards. No. Cool. No one does. Well, yeah. I was just wondering. Alright, I think we're going to do our next game. If anybody's watching this later. Tomorrow, or we got six more games to go. Six more? Trying to speed this up as fast as we can go. Alright. Broncos versus Falcons. Nothing to say here. Just, uh. No. Just a game of two, Not... two bad teams. Yeah. The Falcons can be good. The Falc- their offense is really good. I think their offense is really good. Matt yeah, Ryan, apart from when they accidentally score a touchdown. <laughs> That's great. That's disgusting. Todd Gurley, decent game. 53 yards carrying. Julio Jones. Touchdown. 54 Julio Jones. yards for 5. Oh yeah, I got, Ho- I got Julio Jones on fantasy too. I don't know. Where is Calvin Ridley? I do not see him on the stat sheets here. He, 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 he was out. He's he out. was out? He's hurt. Oh. He's hurt. I think he's hurt. Calvin Ridley is having an amazing oh. season. Yeah, he is Oh, really look at good. that catch by... Who is that? He's Zach Lackadanks. What's that guy's name? Um, who? For who? Oh. Oh my oh. Zach... 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 Oh, let Zacharias. Zacharias. Pretty good. Dunson. Good game Broncos, for him. Broncos, let's see this. Drew Locke. Well, 25 of 48. Yeah, Drew Locke. 13 yards. Drew Locke is... Um, he's not, like... He's not the guy that the Broncos want. Like, like Joe Flacco. What about that? What about... What do you mean? He was on the, he was on the Broncos. He got was, but then he got... Picked up by the... The Jets, because the Jets, Jets totally needed him, you know? Yeah, Sam Darnold's nothing like he was going to be. Yeah. But, uh, Philip Lindsay. Why did Drew Locke run the ball seven times? Seven <laughs> probably got pressure. They probably have a terrible uh, offensive line. I mean, yeah. Line. <laughs> they have a really bad offensive line. <laughs> yeah. Philip Lindsay, 8 and 23. Melvin Gordon. Six carries, eighteen yards. Young yeah, boom, they need boom. to run it more. Young boom, boom. very good. It's uh, Young Quay, bub. Young Quay, not Young Who. They said that, and I never get. Very it. good, uh, rookie wide receiver from Alabama, Jerry, Jerry Judy. Judy. Seven, seven yeah, receptions, one hundred twenty-five yards, one touchdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be really good. I can just tell. Yeah, if, this if was a great a, wide receiver if, class. They got Jalen Rager. Uh, Justin Jefferson, Jerry Judy, C.D. Lamb, very good and rookie. When they were um, showing the Falcons, they have several first-round picks. The Falcons? Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of them. They both threw in, they both, it was a very even game. Wow, this game was so easy, 
even. 405 total yards to 363, 271 rushing to 302, or passing, 103 to 92 rushing. Very even game. First down, they both had 23 first downs. Uh, Falcons went 6 for 13 on the third downs and 7 for 16 for the Broncos on third downs. 0 for 2 for the Broncos, 0 for 0 on fourth downs. 71 to 69 total plays. Very even game. They both had five punts. Incredibly even game. All right, what's next? Chargers and Raiders. Oh, this Which is the Raiders heartbreaking. Came on top, 31, this, this was tough to watch, man. Their card, decent game. Not really actually that good of a game. Like the, Bra the Raiders, hardcore or the ch Chargers, hardcore chokes every week. This was. I didn't. Josh, they didn't. Josh Jacobs, decent game. Yeah, Josh Jacobs is, is good, man. Vontae <sighs> Booker. Yeah. Did a good game as well. Hunter Refro from Clemson. I just yeah. remember him. Yeah. For Pretty good game. Nelson game Al Nelson Aguilar. What about him? Pretty. Pretty decent game. I wonder how His many receptions he dropped. He, he caught the ball twice. And they're both 27.5 yards. Another weird stat. Uh, Hunter Renfro, 30. Well, it's, win, not, you know? it's not, it's not like, like he could have had a 50 yard reception and then a five yard reception. It's not how many, like the exact number of yeah. it. So it's like it's the number of yards divided by receptions. So yeah. Um, Justin Herbert stats. Justin Herbert. What about him? Twenty-eight of forty-two, three hundred twenty-six yeah, yards, two touchdowns. Yeah. He just he just can't close it. They just can't close and teams. Who very are there? Game. Who's Kellen Belag? Do, is Justin Jefferson playing? Or not Justin, Justin Jefferson, Jefferson? Justin Jackson? No, I don't see anything of him. On oh yeah. That's yeah. Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen was a nice game. Are they both injured? Justin Jackson. Or is Justin Jackson injured, Austin? You guys want to hear my wide receiver core in fantasy? It's what? Keenan Allen, Stefan Diggs, and and Tyreek Hill. Pretty good, right? They yeah, they weren't shown this. Son. Your team was so bad, and like your team was so bad. How did it get so good? I don't. Know, Colton traded me like Keenan Allen for. He traded you Keenan Allen. For no, he dropped. So who? Someone dropped. Now, actually. Oh, he! I think he got injured in the beginning of the season. My receiving cords: AJ Brown, CD Lamb, Julio Jones, and John Brown. So I have a pretty good one too. Just some right. running backs, kind of trash. I think we should get in the next game. Really good game here: the Dolphins and the Cardinals. Yeah, really good game. Bob, man. anything to say here, Bob? I do. Two hundred fifty yards for two touchdowns. Salvan Ahmed was their leading rusher for seven for thirty eight. Tua was also had seven carries 35. for thirty five yards. Jordan Howard, he was on the Bears. 10 for 19, so. Oh. Yeah, pretty good. Parker, I, I, this was a pretty close game. Uh, Kyler Murray, uh, 283 yards, 3 touchdowns. Kyler Murray has 11. ran the ball 65 times. What, you, what were you saying? Yeah, he's ran the ball 65 times. And I want to say something about Larry. Larry for no, what about him? I got my dogs he down just, here. You guys want to see them? He. Keep on talking, Austin. Keep on talking. But... Um. But Larry, he he just not even uh, either. Uh, right. Kyler Mary can't find them, or uh, he just is not getting open. Yeah, Larry Bird has not been very Hop well. He is. This is probably his last season. He's DeAndre Hopkins, so three receptions. 
Yeah, DeAndre Hopkins did not have a great game. But Christian Kirk had a good game. Elias Richter had four for fifty-four. Chase Edmonds, I picked him up for my fantasy team. He had a pretty decent team. Or pretty decent game. Yeah, nice. But uh Dolphins five and three. Dolphins pretty second. They're five and three. Second in the AFC. Oh yeah, they second are. The wow, the, the Dolphins AFC. aren't bad. They are not bad. Wow. I mean, with the Patriots being trash and the Jets being awful, <laughs> and the Bills two great obviously things about them. Two, the two starts for two, win two wins for two, you know. Oh, yeah. Let's the keep them in there. The oh, two and oh. Two and oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the next game. Next game Steelers is Cowboys. the. Steelers and Cowboys. Steelers versus the Cowboys, which is... Steelers oh, versus the refs. Pretty good game. Which the, re the refs made a few bad calls. You're there. blaming the refs? Oh, have you not seen that social media on the this game? Everybody's been blaming the refs. I know, everybody's blaming the refs on everything, but... The Ben Roethlisberger, pretty decent game. Three touchdowns, 306 yards, James Conner. Nine, nine carries. For Awful James Conner? Awful game. Awful running game. Yeah. Nine carries for what? Ben Nine carries for twenty three yards. yards. Oh, that's not a very good game. And Mason Rudolph has come Schuster. in because Ben's knee was hurt, man. Yeah, but Ben finished out the game. He had strong. three yards and two for three. Yeah. All right. Pretty good receiving. Look like, at the have receiving game from the, the Steelers. The Steelers re receiving. It's oh, so it's even. Really. Like everybody was. Schuster. Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, Eric Ebron, a few other really good, few other really good wide receivers yeah. in there. The Cowboys. I'm oh, saying the Cow Cowboys stats. Get her vote for seven for start. Twenty-one for thirty-eight. Like, starters, uh, like, like they were saying, uh, go. like some reporter was talking to Mike, and he, like, he was watching Cowboys in practice, and he said that he was Garrett was just picking them faster than. Uh, Ben Dunucci. He was faster? I mean, he... He's yeah, he picked him up fast. Oh, okay. Then, uh, Ben. And yeah, I'm, he is I'm almost 30. I'm not just 30. saying this because I'm a... I'm Gilbert not just saying this because I'm a Cowboys fan, but I honestly thought... Sometimes, you know, you have good teams versus bad teams, and sometimes the bad team... That bad team come out and... I honestly thought the Cowboys would win. Because they were holding the lead for him on them for a while. After. Oh, yeah. pretty good de Steelers defense and offense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they have the most sacks right now. They do? Yep. That's pretty good. And obviously, the Cowboys are just. Worst team in the league. Obviously. They're just. They're going to tank whether or not they, they want to or whether they. Because they're just going to tank because how bad they are. They're going to tank. Yeah. Because they have no choice they need but a to pick. tank. They, they, they're going to tank because they need a pick, and just because they're bad. Just, same yeah. with the Jets. Obviously, they're going to tank. Yeah. But. I don't know how, what the Jets are going to do with Trevor Lawrence. Who's going to get Lawrence the. Who's like the second worst pick? The second worst team? Or who's the second worst team? Yeah. I think it's the. Since the Patriots won. Is it the Cowboys? Let me see. I don't know. We'll do that. We'll do um, that later when we get in the standings. We can do that later when we get in the standings. Uh, we got two the more Jets games are to the go. Worst. Oh, it might be the Jaguars. Yeah. Let's get into the right, Saints and uh, Bucks game. Saint and Bucks. Any other one? Yeah, it's the Jaguars. All right, two more games to go. Then we're gonna be getting into the uh, NFL standings for each division. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so that we I'll got the Saints first, versus the. Bubs. Bubs gonna go here. Um, really good game for um their Drew Brees, of course. You know, he has that uh, veteran head in him. And he he was he threw for two hundred yards. It doesn't sound like a lot, maybe, but it looked like a lot. Um he went for twenty six for thirty two, four touchdowns. And they were putting in this um guy Taysom some hill. He was in a lot, actually. He was um, rushing, or he was um, running it. Uh, he threw for 48 yards. Oh, wow. Taysom Hill threw it? That's crazy. He, 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 
And no. he, he led the oh, he, James ran, Wilson, he led one for one. Day for 54, James. 54 yards. One for one for 12 nice... yards. <laughs> one for one for 12 yards. And then three carries at minus three yards. Yeah. Taysom Hill action. Kind of carry there. But yeah. you know who got a good game. James with a hard carry. You really ate that W, though. Michael Thomas, first game back. A while since Good game. Injury. Five receptions, fifty yards. Uh, yeah. Oh my! Can we talk about Tom Brady? All right, let's. <laughs> can we talk Brady, about yeah, Tom, Tom Brady? Tom. Um, coming off Tom a Brady week. just just doesn't have that. He bench pooped the bed. His, at that game, <laughs> he but... pooped the bed. Yeah, he he him and Gronk are really good. Look at this. I'm saying that. Oh, and th oh for three. Three um, interceptions. Um, um, Antonio, Antonio, Antonio Brown got some nice tackles. Oh. Yeah. Don't look at the running. Do not look at the rushing. That's disgusting. <laughs> Eight yards. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Oh, don't look at that. That is so bad. <laughs> Three for nine. Here, let me show you guys this. Oh. That's Good God. thing I didn't. Show you guys this. Good thing I don't have to. Look. Good thing you didn't oh. have to watch that. Antonio Brown played his first game in a while. He, he had uh, 30 three yards. Three receptions. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you got that. Game. Antonio Brown, you got that nice little tackle, I think. Yeah, right? he got a nice, nice tackle, tackle, yeah. Wait, does he actually show up on the defense? For Yo, he does. Yeah, he does. If you look on defense, you can see Rob Gronkowski and Antonio Brown. That's crazy. Right. This is a pretty trash game by the Bucks. Yeah, pretty trash Off game. They awful. They had no chance against the. Uh, I think the Saints are gonna take that division. Yeah, they probably are. All right. Here Next game are. here. Uh, Monday night football. Bob, you wanna lead this thing off with that Monday night football? How do I show these both at the same time? Um, Cam Newton. The oh, I I can't. earlier weeks, he just wasn't good at all. Um, against the Bills, he did not do any good. Yeah. But he threw for 274 yards and went for 27 for 35 and zero touch. It yeah. says right here. And he did. He had he 100 off. yards, but he didn't do any, really. Joe Flacco almost got his first win ever. As a jet, yeah, you know, not very close at all, but hey, the receiving works. Go ahead, Four, 12 carries, 46 yards. Who did Jeez. Frank Gore, the veteran, and the old head, old head Frank Gore. All right, Pretty anything else to say on these? Uh, you I don't the game. You, get, game. you know, you got you got no, I don't, but who did it? No, touch Joe Flacco. Three touchdowns for he one. Oh yeah, he did. Three touchdowns. Oh, three touchdowns. He said no. Nick Folk had the. Uh, I meant to lead the way. Yeah, Nick Folk had the hard carry the entire team. How many points did he have? He had twelve points. Did they all? Did they just run it? Who got the throwing touchdown though? Cam Newton had two running rushing touchdowns. That's how they scored. Okay, was that the last game? Yep. For week nine games, we're going to be getting into the divisions. Divisions. Division standings. First division we're going to go over is AFC East. This is pretty clear who we the Bills. think you're gonna, think is going to win. Bills. Dolphins yeah. looking pretty promising, though. Patriots yeah. are not, not going to do good. The Jets, Jets, obvi the Jets gonna obviously gonna are going to win the champion. Win the They're Super Bowl. not going to win a game. Jets are going to win the All Super Bowl. Right. I'm, I'm saying Next it. division. We got the West. Chiefs, eight and Chiefs one. Chiefs are gonna win that. Best team in the league, no doubts They're about it. They're gonna Raiders, win that. Raiders, five and three. Wait, which one are we talking about? The Chargers, AFC? with the Chiefs, Raiders, Broncos, and Chargers. Chargers are at the bottom. They could be what, four and four, but they're two and six. I mean, it wouldn't really matter. But... Yeah, it wouldn't really. Well, they'd be third, so they'd be better than the Broncos, which I mean, yeah. is not much to say, but. You know. All right. Yep. So next we got the AFC North. Only undefeated team left is the Steelers. We've got the Ravens at I six and Ravens. two. I, I feel think like you got 
the Ravens are not nearly as good as last season. I just don't see it. In that. They got way too hyped up, way too like. Yeah. And now they're playing. Now they're just Lamar playing. Jackson. They're playing good, but everybody's like saying, "Oh, this, the Ravens aren't aren't good anymore," even though they're six and two because they just got way too hyped up. So yeah. Browns. Who, who, who five, was the other team they lost to? They lost to the Steelers, the Steelers and. Right. Who uh, else did they lose? Chiefs. Chiefs. So they've yeah. only lost to two good teams. Yeah, but those two good I'm, teams. I'm would pretty be, surprised. Those teams you would need to be in the yeah, playoffs. That is true. Like so those two, not two good go teams really playoffs. tell how good you are because if you can beat them, you're the you're really good. But you can't. So. All right. Tough, tough. Last division in the AFC. AFC South. AFC, AFC South. The Titans. Titans. Very good. Colts. Colts and Titans are gonna go off for it. I think yeah. throughout the whole year. I think throughout the whole year. It depends go on how they like. I think it'll come down to their matchup. I think they might have the same record at the end of the year. But it comes down to like the the times they've played against each other. I think the Colts have beaten them. Or did they have they haven't played yet, so it's actually next week, so whoever it's Thursday. So whoever wins that game, that might be a talent of who's gonna win the AFC South. Because the Texans division. and the Jaguars are stanky. Best division in the league. Best division in the league. Oh, the NFC. NFC East. Oh, yeah. I was watching a video. So, he said the Eagles, like, the Eagles are probably going to win the NFC East. He has, like, the Eagles are going to be the fourth seed in the NFC East. And he had them playing against the Saints, and he had the Eagles winning. He had the Eagles winning a playoff game this season. I don't know what he was thinking. But you got two of the best teams it's in the league with the Cowboys and Giants. Don't have it. Yeah, Cowboys right, on a four-game losing streak. The Giants are another bad team. Yeah, Cowboys are gonna win another game. They're they're tanky, what's but the, what's the, their, they, uh, their season look like? They have to play against the Vikings, lose Washington. Oh gosh, lose Ravens, lose Bengals, maybe. Forty ers lose Eagles, and maybe. And Cowboys, know. maybe. So pretty. Uh, e- e- yeah, you can say maybe record, about the Cowboys. So Say maybe about them. Yeah. All right. So we got the NFC West, which is the Seahawks leading it. Pretty good. The Cardinals and the Rams. We'll have to right see. Right on who the takes Cardinals. This, we'll have to see who takes the I, second I, seed this, because this division. I, I just gotta say something real quick. This division is the best division in football. Look at this. Yeah. The Forty Niners in the Super Bowl last year. The Rams always pretty decent. The Cardinals oh, obviously good. Yeah. And the Seahawks. A top four team, top four, top five team. They're top. I don't. I don't like the um, Cardinals' record. I think they could do better. I think they could do better. Yeah, they they this just had two losses in a row. They lost about. to the. Wait, no, they didn't have two losses, but they lost to the Cardinals They're... and the Jets and the Panthers are their only losses. So, or they lost to the Dolphins, the Je- the Seahawks, and the Panthers. So, yeah. Pretty Beat good. Seahawks. Best division in football, probably. All right, yeah, NFC North. North. Packers. Can be. This can be a Bears. really good division. It's an accent. Packers. Oh, no, this can be a good division. This can be a good division. Yeah, Packers are. The Bears are. Packers, 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 Packers are. They're going to win this. Best. The Vikings. Vikings are good. Really bad. Vikings are good. They just started off. They had a really yeah, they were like bad one and five. Yeah, they season. were one and five. So, yeah. And then the Lions. Lions the Lions good. were three and three at one point, but then they just lost. They and just obviously lost the Bears were five and one. Yeah. And then they just lost, lost three. three straight. No, All right, last division. Right. Saints. NFC South. So we've got the Saints. But, probably the second. I'd say the Buccaneers are still better than the Saints. But, you know. So like, in the post, like once their chemistry and their season goes along. And they've like gotten more used to the stuff since the Buccaneers team is entirely new. I think the Saint the Buccaneers probably can beat the Saints. The Saints are on a five game winning streak, so they're on fire right now. But yeah. What were you gonna say, Evan? Getting soon. But I was just gonna say I think the Bucks still need to get Tom Brady still needs to get used to the offense Yes. Yeah. But once he does late in the season, I think yeah. that they can still probably yeah. get the 
I I think the the I I'm not like they need um catch like really catch the ball up. Yeah, they had they started off the game with Tom Brady throwing it downfield, which is not what he does. Like, like they started throwing, awesome. like having launching downfield, which is not Tom Brady. So pretty weird that, that they started with him doing that. I'm not sure what they're. All thinking. right. Next segment is going to be a new segment. NFL, or your team of the week, and your MVP of the week. Okay. Alright, Bryce, you're going to go first. All right, I'll you'll go get first. like so, about a minute just to, just to talk about your team of the week. And then Austin, you'll go. Here, let me see. My team of the week is probably going to be the Saints. Because yeah. they beat a top five team, 35-3. to three, And it was a blowout. They they shut down Tom Brady and the entire Buccaneers offense. Their defense looked great. Drew Brees, probably a redemption game, 222, 222 yards, four touchdowns, looking good. And just having a great week overall. Um, my MVP here, I'll have to think about this because I haven't really thought about this yet. My MVP will probably be Christian McCaffrey because he was injured and he just came back and had a great game. Just a great comeback game, and I think he definitely uh, showed that he's healthy. I mean, he did just get injured again, but last game he looked pretty healthy. Had a good game. Uh, mine was actually Bryce. With the Saints? But, yeah. Yeah, the Saints. Really good game. Yeah, they yeah, had a good game. You, they got they got Michael Thomas back back, so yeah. And my Eight MVP showed up of the week is Christian McCaffrey, just like Bryce. I'm not saying that just because Bryce said that, but I'm saying that because Christian McCaffrey was out. They and then he comes back, and they obviously have a good game. You know, it's close. He had a really good catch that game. Curtis Samuel, one of the like identical, basic. But yeah, Evan. Team of the week is gonna be the Bills. Beat the really good top three Seahawks mm -hmm. team. And mine was between and they those moved two. To Saints and the Bills. Seven and two. I think the Bills can be a very good team. They just need to acquire a few more players, and they can. I think they can have a run for it in the uh, in the playoffs. I think they could be a really I good think team. One, one or two and games, my, definitely. I think my uh, my player of the week is going to be Dalvin Cook. Back to back, really good weeks. Yeah. Definitely. Um, two hundred six yards, two touchdowns, and yeah, he had a really good game. Yeah. So that's my MVP, and that's going to wrap up that segment. And we're just going to get into uh, what about some news about a couple injuries and. Whatever else we can think of, and then we'll wrap it up very shortly. Uh, why don't we do um, our favorite play of the week? Okay. Okay. Oh, my dogs are going crazy. Um. <laughs> my dogs are going crazy. All right. You have a favorite play of the week? I don't, but. I've not awesome to you. About that. Um. Yeah, I do. Um. Fish you know, like I said before, he had he was out. And he comes back, and he has a really good. You now he's doing his stuff, and <laughs> you know, and then. Which one is that? Like I said, there's a, he has a really good catch in that game. That was my favorite play of the week. He like turned his body around and then like grabbed it on the other side. Chris McCaffrey. Yeah. Curtis Samuel had the same catch, basically. So, yeah, those are two of my favorite plays of the week. Okay. Nice. Yeah, and I am player. Alright, I have a favorite play. It's probably going to be the Devontae Adams catch. Uh, Aaron Rodgers did his nice you know, usual throw at the 50-yard line, and they had a great... He just heaved it up there for Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams beat him one-on-one. -on -one. And it was like a great turning, sort of thought back, backwards falling catch. So, my play of the week. 
But you have them. Take care. I personally don't have one right this second, but once we're done going over the injuries, I will have one. Okay. I do not have the injuries thing picked up, so I think... Let's run go over the top couple injuries. Alright, so you guys will lead that. Alright. Oh. What are the top injuries? Was that Elise? Go away! Go- That's you! That's all your junk! Go away! Yeah, that's one cup. Okay, go away. <laughs> Alright, we had Elise walk in, but what's, what's the injuries? You guys got him pulled up? Uh, obviously, Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. He's Is that hurt injured. again? Yeah, the, the shoulder injury, I think. Yep, he had a shoulder when injury. Happen? Recently. I think it was at the Chiefs game. Ben Something Roethlisberger out. was limping for a couple of plays, so he's probably going to get that checked out. But yeah. See, Mark Ingram still hurt. Tredavious White is questionable for next week. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we just talked about Chris of, McCaffrey. Those have been suffering some injuries this week. He, Chris McCaffrey right now is day to day. Yeah. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky. Joe Mixon's questionable. Tons of players for the Browns. Oh, yeah, no. And an, a key player for the Bills is Tredavious White. He's out with a knee injury. Questionable. And yeah, that's not very good. Cam Newton says he's de dealing with soreness in his neck. That sucks. Saquon Barkley is still out. Sam, Sam Donald obviously is out. Yep. So yeah. And that's really about it for the, for the key. Injuries. We still got Jim Garoppolo out. George Kittle didn't play. Uh, George Kittle. Raheem Mostert. The 49ers are just... I'm pretty sure that half of the players from the... Super, from the uh, I was watching the the uh, Sunday... Is it Thursday night game against the Packers? Yeah. I was watching yeah. that game. And they yeah. showed up that... They showed up the things from from the game last, last year in the playoffs against the... 49ers and it was the that half of the, like almost half of the roster that started against the Packers in the playoffs is out so pretty rough for the 49ers how about you or what's the what, what are we ending on play of the week I can't find it but my play of the week is where Tua was getting pressured he had a play action play rolled out to his his right, he was running, and then he did jabs. He like pressed forward and just like jabs at the guy, and he just like pushed the. Did you see that play? Where he like, jabbed and juked him, and he like pushed him away, and then he play. like ran into the end zone. See if I can find it here. Don't think I can find it, but yeah, if some of you might know what I'm talking about. So, the two of one. All right, so two one zero, two one zero. All right, so is that it, Evan? Yeah, that's it. All right. For me. Yep, that's everything I got. Austin, you seem to be muted. Do you got anything? All right, he's got nothing. All right, that'll be it for this week in the NFL Part Two, Week Nine Edition. Very fun and interesting just week. We had a lot of upsets, many blowouts. Very interesting. So I guess that'll be it for this week in the NFL Part 2. Crazy week. So you guys want to see anything? Was it about an hour? Yeah. All right. So about make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, this will be posting on both of our channels. Probably be on mine first since I'll be uploading it. But crazy week thanks you guys for watching great podcast as always and that'll be it peace